Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to be showing you how to get and install our Perl environment. So when we create our Perl applications, we can execute our programs. So I'll show you how to download the GUI using the Windows platform. And don't worry for you Mac lovers out there and Linux lovers and for all of you who's using a Unix-like environment, the Perl program should be installed by default. And I'll show you how to check to see if it is installed on your Unix-like system or your Mac system. So for us Windows users, we're going to download the GUI. So open up one of your favorite browsers. And once you have your browser up and running, Let's go to the URL and let's type in the address bar learn.perl.org forward slash installing forward slash windows.html. Hit enter. And once we do that, it's going to take us to our Windows platform page for the Perl download. So we want to go down to step two and go to the link that says download. So click that link and it'll actually take you to another page for our Perl IDE version. And we want to click the first link or the first Perl version, which is the Padre on Strawberry 5.12.0. 3.0 version 5. So click on the first link, Padre on Strawberry. And it's going to take us to our official download page and just click on the Padre on Strawberry link right here. Me, I've already downloaded it, but I'm just showing you guys. So download it and wait for it to install on your computer. And once you do that, I'm going to click out of my browser and once you do that, once it downloads, you open it up and you just go through the installation process and click next and you go to your start menu and I believe all programs and you should go to a folder that says strawberry pearl and me, I've already dragged and dropped the icon onto my desktop. So the icon looks like this. It's a blue butterfly. And once you double click it, the IDE should load up for Perl. So let me just wait for mine to load for the first time. So for you Mac lovers out there and Unix lovers, this is what the shell looks like, or once you open up your command shell, this is what it should look like. And once it does that, you can actually type which Perl, and which is just a Unix-like command to tell you where a program is located, the path. Or you can use another Unix command, which is called what is, Perl and it gives you a short description of the program and this is how you can tell if Perl is installed on your system by default for your Mac lovers out there so let me go back here and I guess our program is still loading up okay so I accidentally opened up two of them so I'll just close one So this is what the text editor looked like for our IDE Perl environment. And I'll show you all the basics once we jump into the next lecture. But if you're at this screen with our text editor from Perl, you've installed everything correctly and you're ready to move on to our next part.